New tonight, Seneca County encompasses more than 500 square miles of land, and within that, officials say there are gaps with full-time emergency medical service coverage. So county commissioners are working to cover those gaps by bringing full-time EMS service to the entire county. J.D. Pooley has a story all new from Tiffin. Government leaders here in Seneca County, they're trying to forge new partnerships to enhance the EMS services throughout the area. When you hit 911, we want somebody to be there in 10 minutes or less. Seneca County Commissioner Tony Paradiso is making that happen with two goals, collaborating with emergency medical service departments throughout the county and building four new EMS stations to serve the rural community. We need to work together. We're separate. Fire, law enforcement, EMS is separate. But when there's an accident, all three are there. And oftentimes fire is first on the scene. So they're, they're crucial. What we want in the end is a system a system for the county. Paradiso wants to expand the current Seneca County EMS system, which already works with the city of Tiffin, Fostoria, Bascom, Sycamore, and North Central, with four new EMS buildings located throughout the county that will be staffed 24-7 with two full-time certified EMS workers. We have the majority of the real estate. We cover about 65% uh, percent of the county's real estate, 550 square miles. So. We're a piece of the system. Construction is set to begin next month on the first EMS building that will be located on the east side of the county along US 224 in Bloom Township. So with our four Seneca County buildings, in addition to City of Tiffin, Bascom, Fostoria, Sycamore, and North Central, we're able to, we're able to uh, service the entire county. To fund the construction and pay the full-time EMS workers, Paradiso says the money will come from several sources, including a recently passed 2.5 mil levy. With tax dollars, commissioner money, run revenue, so when you make a call, people have insurance, they pay, all that goes into the pot, uh, and then you, we run our system. And Paradiso tells me he expects all four of the new EMS buildings to be up and running within three to five years. In Tiffin, J.D. Pooley, 13 Action News.